Okay, I want to find my class width. So how I do that is I take any lower class the values and just subtract them. So in other words, class width, the width of each one of these classes is going to be 40 minus 35 or 5. And you could see it doesn't matter which ones you pick, right? Because any that you pick and subtract, you'll get that same value. All right, class midpoints. Well, in this case, what you want to do is you want to add each class. So the first one's 35 plus 39, and then divide by 2 to find the middle value. I'm going to do the next one. I'm just going to write them all down first. 40 plus 44 divided by 2. 45 plus 49 divided by 2. 50 plus 54 divided by 2. 55 plus 59 divided by 2. 60 plus 64 divided by 2. And then finally, 65 plus 69 divided by 2. So all I'm doing is finding that midpoint by adding the low value and the high value. And then after I add it, I divide by 2. So this becomes 37. This becomes 42. This becomes 47. This becomes 52. This is 57. This one is 62. And then finally, this one becomes 67. Well, if you kind of look at this, you could see each one of these. If I looked at this lower value, I'm just adding two points to it, right? 42, 47, 52, 57. And so that's just a quick way of doing it. And then it wants the class boundaries. Well, basically what the class boundaries are, are the in-between values. And you just have to be careful that you actually start at the lower. So we do these by 0.5. So below 35 would be 34.5. And then I'm jumping from 39 to 40, so it would be 39.5, 44.5, 49.5. So you can see I'm just looking at this column right here and adding 0 0.5, 54.5, 59.5, 64.5, and 69.5. So these are kind of the key that I see students make these mistakes is they forget the end ones, especially this first one. So that's class width, class midpoint, and class boundaries.